video, you will learn the basics of creating webhooks using Zapier, understanding functions and all the benefits of webhook triggers in a nutshell. Hey, I'm Amy from Expandy, the world's safest cloud platform for doing automated LinkedIn outreach without getting noticed or banned. If you wish to turn your LinkedIn into a lead generator tool, be sure to subscribe down below for our weekly growth hacking tips and turn on the notifications so you never miss a video. You might have heard about webhooks and wondered if they're something that you should introduce into your tools. The answer is yes. And here's why. Webhooks are one way that applications can send automated information into other applications. They're a simple way your online accounts can speak to each other and get notified automatically. In many cases, you'll need to know how to use webhooks if you want to automatically push data from one app into another. So stay tuned because I'm going to explain everything you need to know about webhooks and expanding, starting from the process of creating your webhook with Zapier to the benefits of webhook triggers. Let's dive in right away. So what are webhooks? Webhooks are used to connect information from one application into another. A webhook is a way for applications to provide other applications with real-time information. A webhook typically delivers data to another application as and when it happens. This means you'll get data immediately. Now, let's take a look about creating webhooks with Zapier. Some of the top used triggers in Expandy are as follows. Let's create a webhook using Zapier in Expandy. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is open up Zapier, 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 whatever you wanna call it. Uh, and then you're gonna create your Zap. When you do that, you are going to see this pop up. And for now, we're gonna create a webhook. And the event that we're gonna select is catch hook. And we'll, we'll click continue. This is fine to leave blank. I'm just gonna click continue. And then you're going to see this webhook URL. This is the stage where you're going to want to copy it and open Expandy again. When you open Expandy, you then will click webhooks and creating new webhook. I'm going to put in a name test and the URL should be pasted here. And then you can select between the uh, triggers that you want. So you can see that there's multiple types of triggers. And what's going to happen is depending on what you select, when that action happens or when that condition happens in Expandy, uh, the webhook will get triggered and then your data is going to get sent using the Zap uh, to whichever tool that you set it up to. So we have, for example, connection request sent, contact replied, message sent. Um, you have quite a few different triggers here. You can also do contact tagged and then you can select the tag that you want. So for example, if uh, I tag someone with this hot lead tag in Expandy, the webhook would get triggered and uh, that person who I tag would be sent to uh, my sheet or whatever it is that I'm using. Um, you can also select it into any campaign or you can select a specific campaign. Uh, I'm gonna say any campaign. And then if you send it all at once, you can see how often it's sent. So every hour, every 12 hours, you want the uh, data to be sent to your sheet or wherever. Uh, once you create the new hook, you'll want to turn it on and go back to Expandy. Once you turn it on, you can also select the test and load right back into Zapier and select test trigger. You can see that the request was found and it's all good. Once you click continue, then you're going to see that we pop into the action. So this is the tool that you want your data sent to. So whether it's your CRM tool like HubSpot, Pipedrive, a Google Doc, I'm going to select today a Google Sheet. Um, and I can also select the event. So if I want a new column, a new row, whatever, I'm going to select a column today and select continue. I can then select the accounts that I want to use. I'm going to select this one and click continue. And here is where you can set up your actions. So this is what you want done with the data in that sheet. Once you've filled up uh, the actions that you want to happen, you can click continue and you are able to then test and continue. And if it's all good, you can publish this up. And that's really it. Once you uh, 
uh, tag someone then with this tag, if I would select someone's name and put a hot lead next to them, their data will be sent from Expandy into my spreadsheet. Some of the top used triggers in Expandy are as follows. Contact tag. You can create tags directly in Expandy and as soon as you assign that tag next to a lead, their data will be triggered and the webhook will be sent from Expandy to your tool. Contact reply. As soon as the lead replies, they're going to get triggered and you're going to get notified about it. This way you will never miss a lead's response. Campaign finished. As soon as your campaign runs out of people, the webhook will be triggered so that you know to add new leads to your campaign. And there's many others, but I'll link the description down below. In my next video, I'm going to be dropping many more super cool tips and tricks. You can always trust us to get a lot more leads and connections on LinkedIn. See you soon.